In the mission to become the clear number one FPS game on the market, Apex Legends has added a new game mode called The Arena. A brand new 3v3 elimination style game mode where you only have one life and once either team is squad wiped, the round is over. Oh, let's go! And you get a point. Be the first to three points and you win, right? Not that simple. You must win by two, so that means matches could last all the way till sudden death. And if you win, you're the champion of the arena. There are five maps in total. Three that rotate every 15 minutes, Party Crasher and my favorite Phase Runner are the two main maps for now and Artillery will rotate bi-weekly with Thermal Station and Golden Gardens. Now each map is custom for arena play only with more to come in the future. I love the custom loadout system for the arena. It forces you to actually have to think about what you want to use since you don't have a lot of points in the beginning. At the very top, you can see what weapons your teammate pick. You may want to try and base your weapon choice around theirs. You do have to buy your abilities. Passives are always free, but your tactical and ultimate are not, and prices vary per legend. If you don't use your abilities for that round, they do carry over. So the arena is based off a of point system. You can save your points from the previous round to try to get a better gun the following round. You also get round bonus and canister bonus. Now if you notice around the map, there are little canisters placed. Each are worth 200 points a piece. Doesn't matter who on the team grabs it as long as someone on your team grab it. Now be mindful, if an enemy team grabs that, it disappears. So that means you do not get those 200 points for the next round. So it, it may be who of you to try to get the closest canister that you see. Also, kills matter as well. Now, each kill is 75 points for the next round. So you may want to thirst the kill the moment you drop somebody so you can get those 75 points so you can get a better weapon upgrade or some extra consumables. You do have to buy the base weapons. Now the only two weapons that are free are the P2020 and the Mozambique and you only pay for leveling up that weapon. Now you can level up a weapon all the way to purple but just know it does cost so pay attention. One thing that you may not know you can also change the optics on the gun that you level up by a clicking the scroll wheel on your mouse or clicking Y slash triangle on Xbox or PS4. Now care packages do drop into the arena as you can see at the bottom right here and have weapons in them. Each round the weapons and tier change till you get an heirloom weapon like the prowler. Be mindful if a gun you want is in a care package you may behoove you just to save a little money and go for the care package. Quick tip if you drop a like and subscribe to the channel right now you will drop a 20 kill 4k damage game with valkyrie so make sure you guys drop a like subscribe and share this video with all your friends you can't change legends during rounds so try to pick a legend you're comfortable with if possible now if you're three stacking i would say try to pick legends that complement each other very well now i do hope respawn would change this feature and give you the option to switch between legends each round i think that'll make uh it more competitive because each round goes on things to be different but who knows, maybe it's like that for a reason. I do want to know what you guys think down in the comment section below if they should make it a feature where you can switch legends between rounds. I know you may be asking, what about ammo? They didn't give me an option to purchase ammo. Well, ammo is given to you automatically and they give you a decent amount. You may run out if you're doing a long range battle, but if it comes to that, just punch it out. There are loot boxes on the map that give you consumable items, so it will be smart of you to try and open one if you don't want to waste your crafting points on buying shield cells and uh, med kits. The arena does have a ring and it gets smaller and smaller just like the battle royale game mode eventually forcing everyone to meet. Now this can be very chaotic as we already know. Don't be discouraged if you get down, you can still be revived as long as the enemy team did not thirst you, making lifeline and Gibraltar very valuable in this game mode. Now you will quickly learn that some legends that are extremely good in the battle royale are fairly weak in this game mode and legends that are weak in the battle royale can be very strong in the arena. Now I am interested to see what the meta would be especially since they plan on bringing rank to this mode. Now you already know a lot of TTVs and sweaty people love to find abusive metas to run so I'm intrigued and interested to see how this is going to work out. I think this game mode is very very balanced but let me know down in the comment section below what do you think will be the top three metas for the arena did you know we got emotes now yeah you can call us fortnite i mean apex legends it's really cool that they added this feature i've been saying this for a long time to add emotes and now we finally got them and they did a very very good job with them now let's add cross progression 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully this helped you understand the new game mode a little better. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.